So in this video, I'm going to show you an example using freeopen. But let me say this before. As I said, fopen is enough, okay? And freeopen, we might not use it later on. But in order to have some information, I'm going to show you some examples and explain a little bit, okay? So freeopen returns also a pointer to a file. It takes the same first two parameters and it takes a third parameter, which is a stream. For example, stdout is a stream, right? Now, a free open does the same thing. It opens a file at the given path. So now we are able to read, write data to the file. And of course, this depends on the mode. Now, a free open also associates this stream with the given file. Okay? We will see what this means in a little bit. And this over here is done if the open succeeds and if the open does not succeed. So in both cases, this stream will be associated to the file. Okay? Also, every open returns a pointer to the file if the open succeeds and returns null if the open does not succeed. Now, let me say this. Every open also does more things, but I don't care about them now because we didn't learn them yet. Okay? So let's have a look. I have a pointer to a file. Okay? And I'm setting it equal to and I'm calling every open. I'm giving it a name of the file which is data.txt. This means that this file is found in the same directory as main.c, okay? And I'm opening this file with the mode of R, so the reading mode. And the last parameter over here is stdout. This is a stream, right? It is responsible for printing something. Now, stdout, whenever a free open is executed, if the open succeeds or not, stdout will be associated to this file, okay? You will know what this means in a little bit. Let me, for example, print f hello backslash n okay now let's go to our directory and as you can see we don't have a data.txt file over here and i will not create it let's get back to code blocks as you know whenever the file does not exist this r the reading mode will not create the file so after you open over here will not be able to open it right but anyways this std out will be associated to this stream and it doesn't exist right so let's see what will happen. Build and run. This printf is executed. We see hello over here. Perfect. Now, free open should return null, right? So if f, this should be false and we should print failed. But as you can see, we have nothing over here. Now, let me close this. Go back here. And also we don't have the file. So it was not created because we are using the R mode. Now, in the code blocks, change this to be W. So the writing mode. Now, the writing mode, if the file does not exist, it will create the file, right? So now build and run. Also, this hello is executed. We see hello over here. And the f reopen should return something different than null. Because over here, we will be able to open the file because we will create it. And this f will point to the file. So when we say if f, we should print f open succeeded. But as you can see, we have nothing. Now close this, go to our directory. And as you can see, our file was created because we are using the W mode. Now, I want you to open the file. Have a look. We have open succeeded. Go back to code blocks. This printf over here is this text. So the printf was written inside this file. Now, I hope you see this. stdout is associated to the file, right? So now whenever we print printf something, we will print it inside the file. And this is why we can see these characters inside the file, okay? From a little bit, the file was not created. So whenever we try to print up something inside it, this will not work, okay? Now, let's change this to R. So now we should be able to open the file because now it exists. So F should be something different than null, right? So this statement over here should be executed. So let's say open succeeded using R mode. Now, I want you to remember that Whenever we use the R mode, the file is read only. We cannot change its content, right? So build and run. Perfect. Close this. Let's go back. Open the data.txt file. And as you can see, it is not changed. And this is because over here we are using the R mode. So our file is read only. We cannot change it. So whenever we print off this, we will not be able to update the file with these characters over here, okay? So to make sure that f is different than null and you are able to open the file, I'm going to print something. So print f 
person D. So I want to print a condition, and this condition is F is different than null. Okay. Now you already know that whenever this print F is executed, it will be printed inside the file, and you will not see that change because we are using the R mode. So before executing this print F, let's return std out to be attached to the console so that whenever we print something, we see it over here. Okay. So to do that, I will also use the F reopen function. And over here, I will give it a special string. It is C O N. This is short for console. So now we want to associate std out with the console, right? And we want to be able to write something on the console, to print something. So the mode in this case will be W. Okay? So at this point, std out will point to the file. And then at this point, std out will point to the console. So if we print this over here, we will see this on the console. So we will be able to see if f is equal to null or different than null. So we will know if f reopen over here succeeded or not, right? And let me say this. As you can see, I'm not storing the return value of this function inside a pointer because I don't care about it in this case. I just want to change std out and associate it with the console, okay? Let me put a backslash n over here. Also backslash n over here. Okay, build and run the program. Let's see. First of all, hello is executed. Perfect. Then we try to open the file and std out will be pointing to the file. Now over here, we are reassociating std out with the console. So whenever we print this condition, we can see our result on the console over here. And we have one. So f is different than null. So over here, we were able to open the file, okay? But since you are opening in the read mode, Previously, when we tried to print this inside the file, we couldn't change it. Perfect. Now we reach this point. F is different than null. So this over here will be printed on the console because std out is associated to the console at this point. So we see this over here. Okay. So this is it regarding F reopen. Maybe we will not use it, but just have an idea. Okay. So great job and I'll see you in the next video.